Well, now, I'd love for you to tackle a question from one of our viewers before we move on, because I think that uh, it's, it's very relevant what we're talking about here today. Okay. Would you be willing to do yep. that? Oh, definitely. Let's take a look. How do you respond to people who say that creationism is a religion, so that immediately disqualifies you from being a good scientist? It's an okay. interesting question. Oh yeah. How do you yeah, well, you, you hear it a lot. To me, it's just uh, well, you just keep things at a scientific level. I mean, it's because um, you can. Uh, if people are just talking about science, mm -hmm. um, you know, it doesn't matter if they're you know a Christian. It doesn't matter if they're an atheist. It doesn't sure. matter if they're any other religion. Uh, if they're speaking as scientists, they can communicate quite well. And I think that's the key is uh, to have people realize, you know, you know, that's kind of a, it's almost a facade or almost a, a red herring that sometimes atheists will throw out there to try to not have people critically think about what he's proposing. Uh, but reality, let's just keep it scientific. And again, we'll find that true science completely confirms the Bible. Um, one of the uh, areas that people have been talking about a little bit is, you know, you have you know, real science, and then you have, I guess, what you would call fake science. Ah, and the, uh, kind of like the you know, fake uh, news of today. Yeah, fake news. Yeah, you have, um, yeah, and what's interesting, people are starting to realize how much damage fake news can do. But I think one of the things we have to realize is that fake science can do just as much damage. Now, it's not as obvious, and it can be entertaining, but long term, it does damage both spiritually and physically. And so, uh, you know, one of the things that's fun to talk about is just, you go through and you say, okay, real science versus fake science, and you can just show the basically fundamental tenets of atheism that are pushed as science, but really when you look at them, they're, they're just fake science. That's interesting. So you're saying that not only can, does it promote false things when we push fake news or fake science, but it also holds back progress. Right, right. Yeah, I think, um, you know, just like an example, one of them would be the, uh, uh, all of the origin of life experiments that okay. people have done over the ages. I mean, you start out with the Miller-Urey experiment. And I remember when I was in college, most of the textbooks would still, oh, this, this proved this, this proved this, proved that. Now, yeah. um, you can have textbooks, even the same editors, you know, 20 years later, they were saying, well, it really wasn't, you know, it wasn't that big a deal. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, so it comes around, you know, catches up with them, that they realize, no, you, you know, the significance was greatly overstated. But, you know, recently there were some um, experiments performed by JPL. And again, I want to emphasize, a lot of times the, the scientists do good, experiments, they report their results, and it's not necessarily the scientists themselves that are spinning this out of control, but mm -hmm. again, to me, it's, uh, you know, people of, you know, believe in evolution, believe in atheism of, of that particular religion, they will latch on to something and they'll try to run with it. And so, with and these JPL studies... Uh, holds them back. Oh, exactly. Yeah, they had, uh, uh, basically what they had done is they'd uh, created the most significant parts of the experiment. They created one amino acid, okay. you know, just one, and they created lactate. But you read the headlines. I'll read a, a couple of them. That sure. was uh, this was on uh, uh, CNET News. It says NASA scientists build primordial ocean to recreate origins of life. Uh, another one. This was uh, Phys UK says NASA study reproduces origins of life on ocean floor. Wow. And again, it's just absurd. Yeah, you know, it'd be just like if I took some hydrogen and some oxygen and burned them, and I said I created water, a building block of life. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just it's basic chemistry. It's not, but the right. but the fake science associated with that just um, yeah you know, does does damage spiritually because people start again going back to thinking, well, maybe I am just the product of you know billions of years of you know you know random chance and some mutations and other things, and so it does spiritual damage, but it also does a lot of. Um, I, I would say it's physical damage or societal damage because yes. of how it holds science back. And so, societal contrary, damage because yeah. people would assume, reading a headline like that, oh, yeah. that the magic of evolution has been observed, <coughs> demonstrated, yep. and tested. Yeah, and it also, it's, it's in more subtle ways, it also is af affecting us. Um, and it's uh, so kind of related to that question. It's really the belief in evolution that has really held science back. Uh, well, and so it's almost, you could ask somebody, to me it'd be the opposite question, well, you know, you know, if you believe in evolution, how could you be a serious scientist? Uh, we go back to this origins of life. Yeah, I want to talk the, about uh, not you know, only origins of life, but the space program as well. Yeah, so, well, okay, so suppose, um, suppose someone believes that life just makes itself, which okay. kind of goes, goes against everything we know about science. I mean, we know the simplest life is vastly more complicated than anything people have ever made. It's more complicated than a space shuttle. Yes. Uh, you know, because we can, you know, we can make space shuttles. You know, a few billion dollars, you can make a space shuttle. Uh, but the simplest life Hundreds has of billions never... of dollars, smartest PhDs, best labs. Uh, we cannot come anywhere close to making life from wow. non-living material. And I so love that's what. that. And so when they do these uh, 
uh, yeah, when they make these claims, yeah, I'm just like, okay, so, so okay, you, just, you said you just duplicated the origins of life. Well, we'll keep going. You know, if, I mean, if this really did that, then uh-huh. boy, you know, and supposedly it was random. Well, couldn't you, uh, you know, just go in there, tweak a little bit, and not, you know, pops life? I mean, literally, the first day of kindergarten, our children should be making life if it was simple enough to just make itself. And, and so, again, you know, kind of absurd examples, but, but it's the whole mindset that life could just make itself. It's absurd, but it's taken root in some very strange ways.